Uh, finally, we're just going to pivot uh, to a little segment oh, on mm. our domestic rugby. Yeah, um, we'll briefly go through it. Not much. Well, stuff did happen, obviously, all throughout the Six Nations that we were kind of putting on the back burner. Well, yeah, we'll take a little look at how things stand and then just give you sort of the games to watch that I think are yeah. this weekend. Yeah. And um, so we've got the Tuck Taurus to start with, and the story there is that Toulouse, in the interim of, of, of what's been, been going on... Owning it. Yeah, pulling away. They've the got one, it. The wonders of the academies. Yes, yeah, it's, it's an amazing thing. The Cheslands. And the Cheslands. Yeah. Cheslands looked phenomenal at the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> what Absolutely else is making new? play after play against Lyon, yeah. and they destroyed um, them. <laughs> yeah, La Rochelle slipped up, actually, in the interim. He slipped up at the weekend against Agen as right, well, and actually yeah. fallen out of the top six, wow. with Racing just leaning in ahead of them on points difference. And Caster manoeuvring their way up the table again, as yeah. ever. <laughs> they're, they're hilarious. Caster, yeah. the funniest team. Um, <laughs> and it, the, yeah, and it's it's Toulouse and Claremont have pretty much cemented one and two and yeah. there's a bit of a scrap going on um, but there's a bit of a gap between the top between the top seven and everybody else and it's probably mm -hmm. safe to assume that Stad Montpellier Toulon have left it a little too late some challenge cup teams next year <laughs> Um, they deserve it. Montpellier, in particular. certainly Montpellier and <laughs> Toulon, Toulon yeah. both deserve everything they cut they get. Yeah, and in yeah. fact, they, we could do with Poe coming up and and snaking ahead of Toulon for for all that's good and just in the world, <laughs> and getting themselves into the Challenge Cup. Leave Toulon at home. Nice. Is that not true? Is that true that the top bottom two don't get into the Challenge Cup? I thought everybody was Does in the Challenge Cup. Is? Yeah, I thought everybody in it was in the challenge. Oh, group. maybe they're maybe they're. Um, I think yeah, Perpignan were in a chair sure, and they just got promoted oh, last year. Oh yeah, no, that's true. Okay, yeah. well then, there's nothing, nothing to do. No, there's nothing to play Plus, for outside of the outside yeah, of the top. Because Perpignan Europe. have already signed, sealed, and delivered the bottom spot. Yes, registering a total of eight points. Yeah, with from their nineteen games, games, which is uh, that's no good. Thoroughly really. poor. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So but the talk tours is moving on. Toulouse mm, are the big story. Toulouse are the big story of the year from yeah, French rugby yeah. point of view, and it's it's. It's improved the national side already, as well as helping them in the way we illustrated by yeah. taking Finn out when they had to place a dangerous Scotland team. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, no, they're to to lose seem absolute like resurgent force, and yeah. I would thoroughly back them all and again, despite being away from home to get the job done in the U Arena, not least because I watched that game a few weeks ago and they hammered them. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. Uh, the Premiership Rugby has obviously took a week off. Mm -hmm. the, they had the Anglo-Welsh without the Welsh Cup final That's in the, the week. One. Yeah. And, uh, Northampton won it. Um, <laughs> whoop -de -doo. No, it's a trophy. It's Hooray, a trophy. Northampton. It is a bit of a whoop de doo though. It is a bit of a whoop de doo like, I don't so know why they play it. it. Like The Anglo-Welsh was its own thing, but it's like mm. it's a, a, a attempted response to the FA Cup that ends up just being... Pointless. Why do we care about this? Let's put out our B team. Yeah, yeah. And it's like there, there. So much, so many of the complaints are about game, game time. time. Yeah, and it's just and why are you adding this daft competition in the midst of it all that the Welsh have already pulled out of? It's just I don't Sounds know. mad. Yeah. I don't know. But, yeah. uh, but congrats, Northampton. They got the job done against Saris A or whatever. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, in the league itself, mm. there's a there's a few big gaps. I mean, even within the top four, the top four have pulled away as Exeter Saracens. Harlequins and Gloucester, Gloucester yeah. and there's a gap between 1 and 2 there's a gap between 2 and 3 and then obviously 4 and 5 as well mm -hmm. looks pretty signed sealed and, and set yeah, Gloucester got the job done on Queens of the week and, and narrowed yeah. it up even more so so um, mm -hmm. that's probably going to be your, your your last 4 and I like that because mm -hmm. Exeter v Gloucester as is Gloucester have done Exeter twice this year indeed and yeah. could do them again like there's still good games in there there's yeah. still good hustle Queens as well have big performances in them mm-hmm and then behind them, more interestingly, there's a scrap going on for um, Europe. Europe top six, and uh, at the moment it's Sale and Bath, but North Northampton and Wasps, and just behind them, Bristol are yeah. kind of in the mix. Bristol would need to go on a run, but they uh, would. But Bristol are, are acquitting themselves very creditably for the yes. first year up. They're actually yeah. they're good value for it, and they're they're a good side. Pat Lamb has done a good mm. job, gets them playing some enterprise and rugby. Shout out to Madzer slotting a uh, touchline winning, con winning over, conversion who did they beat recently I can't remember who it was against but they mm. got a winning touchline conversion yeah and um, have moved up the board mm -hmm. and then it, there's a bit of a scrap meanwhile Leicester wallowing in the dizzy lows of 10th of, of tenth, tenth for the Leicester yeah. Tigers that seems putting in some good hits there ah oh, stop the lights yeah, yeah, yeah. Jordan Jordan um, would it have been better with Matt O'Connor though no no but and it was harsh to throw Jordan into the mix one day into the season That's that whole true. thing is just a 
the yes. hodgepodge. They did um, manage to retain Tuilagi though, which is probably their most successful thing. And a of the huge, whole and a huge shout out to Manu because yeah. uh, he was very honourable and very honest. Yeah. He said, you know, he's injured for a long time. Club put a lot of faith in me. Didn't rush me back. Got me to a level where I could come back and play for England, and I owe it to them to stay. And that's just that's, that's rugby, buddy. Absolutely that's class. world class levels of yeah, and, just respect. respect and even with your club floundering as much as it is, no, no, he's not going. He's not he's, going anywhere. Even if relegate, well, yeah, no, he will go. <laughs> <laughs> if they get relegated, he might be pilfered up. But uh, yeah, no, I, hopefully they'll manage to avoid that. They will. They're, well, they're, it's a bit of a scrap though between Newcastle and Worcester. Newcastle are pulling off some results. Yeah, they're only nine points off bottom. Well, no, I, I mean I don't think that those are that back gap is going to be bridged. No, uh, but probably not. I think Hopefully not. Worcester could go down though, and Worcester yeah. got to be careful. They're going to get the great Ben Teo back though, and that should shore things up. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, into, as, as far as the Pro Fourteen is concerned, where mm-hmm. things are standing as we pivot back. It's all kind of chaotic in here because there's so much to play for. There's the top three in each conference, and then there's the fourth place in each conference gets a playoff for Europe. Mm. So there's there's a load of teams still in the mix. The top four in Conference A is pretty set as uh, Glasgow, Munster, Connacht, and Cardiff. And between Connacht and Cardiff, you're going to see some battlings out to try and get that third spot. Right. Um, but behind them, Ospreys are eight points behind. It's not inconceivable, but it's pretty inconceivable. That they're going to get back into the mix yeah. for Europe, even just even looking um, at some of their showings, I can't buy yeah. it. Unless, unless this Welsh Grand Slam sprinkles some mm. dust, some magic dust yeah. all over all their their provinces and their regions, and uh, the, they yeah. start stringing some results together because that's what it'll take. Yeah, um, and in Conference B, it's all just kind of madness. But beneath Leinster, dominating Leinster There's with seventy two points accrued from 17, 17 games, games fifteen mad. one two defeats, and twenty two points clear. <laughs> at the top of that conference literally can't falter from there no yeah and, and ben, the ben, big surprise though is Bennett and rocking up in second yeah well no, no longer a surprise they're up there they're still winning games it's five teams well four teams now in the hunt about beneath uh, beneath Leinster um, for like two places in terms of playoff qualification but from Edinburgh's perspective just getting into that European place would be massive because mm-hmm. they could be in the Challenge Cup again, which would be it's looking likely now. Mm-hmm. So that Scottish forty minutes against England is going to be massive for them going forward. Yeah, I think because um, they're, they're in trouble. They are in trouble. They are they in big trouble. Leinster, yeah, is coming the next up. one, and that they're probably going to have to give the guys a break ahead of that monster uh, quarter final. They can't be bringing throwing Hamish straight back into the mix. Although yeah. Hamish supposed to be one guy they could because he has he a little bit. Yeah, game he's in twenty time, minutes yeah. and then eighty minutes. So yeah, maybe. Yeah. But maybe not Toulouse and Gilchrist after a full Six Nations yeah. of work. Yeah. And McAnally and Nell and Dell and you know if they're going into Leinster without those boys, they're going in perhaps for a tough game. But they, yeah. it's a game they have to win. Yeah. So that they're in a bit of a mess. If they do rebound, Scarlets will be in a bit of a mess. Um, mm-hmm. Scarlets are looking to get back and attack Ulster, obviously. Yeah. Um, but it's tight. It's good. It's, yeah. If that conference is interesting. Yeah. And hundred uh, uh, percent. Yeah. In the in the top of tours, there's a the game to watch. I think at the weekend it'd be La Rochelle against Toulouse in La Rochelle. Ooh. Very important for La Rochelle to bounce back. Uh, Juicy after fixture. Defeat to Agen. They both play stylish rugby. They're at home. It's on Sunday night at eight o'clock. Weird. Um, yeah. yeah, the French do weird ones, and yeah. um, so it's a, you know, it's not gonna be clashing with any other games. Yeah. So um, it's probably worth a watch to either see this great Toulouse team in their pomp or see a great La Rochelle team get back on the horse yeah. and try and get back Both of them will try and try six. and move the ball anyway, which is nice. Yeah. And it should be a fast paced, kind of good interesting affair. Oh, Toulouse have just added so much. Toulouse and actually La Rochelle to be fair, since uh, they kind of started this mission to kind of build a team, they've actually Play, play quite an open game and, yeah. and have added pace to the tournament because the top tours for a few years was just too painfully pedestrian that uh, you couldn't even watch it whereas now we're getting to see some some glorious running rugby in the in the sunshine in France which is exactly what you want yeah yeah any um, other games of the weekend? Yeah, I was thinking from the, 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 Quins. Sarri's Quins and Gloucester Wasps are on at the mm. same time and I don't know which I'd prefer to see um Sarri's Quinns has that top of the table element but Wasps Gloucester. and Gloucester could have potential as, yeah. a, as a Wasps probably will need to win it I don't Gloucester think will. will yeah <laughs> and in King's Home in King's Home yeah and yeah it could be fun seeing Danny and the boys go back in if I'm honest I'm probably going to watch uh, the Gloucester Wasps game of those two yeah but because you normally just watch Sarri's yeah that's what that's what we watch the premiership it's just it's, it's, it's just Sarri's a moniker show. for watching Sarri's but I kind of like Gloucester too now yeah you yeah. do like Gloucester yeah 
Um, so it, that's my game with them and then in mm. the Pro 14 it's all about the three games that are on on Friday evening mm-hmm. uh, the Saturday games get a little less interesting but uh, Cardiff v Scarlet's promises some fun and is important to both mm-hmm. uh, Connacht Treviso likewise yeah. um, big game for Glenn Benetton um, to for sure. game for Connacht Vital for Connacht both. and Cardiff playing simultaneously they're on equal points in the last qualifying place for, for the playoffs yeah, it's, in their conference so that's massive yeah. and then Edinburgh Leinster which we've already touched on is, is an important one yeah. for Edinburgh more so than Leinster Leinster are kind of riding high and, and can take their foot well and truly off the gas and just kind of time their way into the quarter final but yeah. Edinburgh need to do a bit more plate spinning than that they need to kind of balance getting the result that they desperately need with getting some rest on for the boys who were basically on mm. Scotland duty the whole tournament yeah, so yeah, yeah um, you know and then on Saturday Glasgow Cheetahs also promises some fun rugby yeah that's a else. good one attacking yeah. sort of, some attacking less stuff. consequential but a lot of fun yeah um, for sure thanks for watching the Overlap Rugby podcast if you enjoyed that video please uh, like down below and subscribe for more videos uh, and please enter the comments section to uh, join our conversation thanks